we are back with another playthrough and um, yeah that's it <laughs> uh, I I picked up Broken Lagoon as I thought I would and I don't really know much about this game other than it's similar to um, Animal Crossing which is highly uh, popular like farm game I've never been into farm games uh, like ever I mean you know yeah <laughs> like other than uh, on the PC or like on the web mobile whatever I've never been into this kind of games and um, so we'll see how this game will go um, I don't know much about this game other than it's an adventure uh, like a bit kind of like casual uh, it is long because this game is like animal type crossing uh, animal, animal crossing type game so obviously you will spend a lot of time in it and I don't think it ever ends that that way but there is a campaign that you can do and it's supposedly to be like 10 hours I'm assuming for me it will be like seven, maybe six. Um, so we, what we will do with this game is that we will do the campaign, and then I guess like for YouTube kind of style, uh, and then I guess if the, I would be up to it, I will play more of it. But I think the main focus of this playthrough would be the campaign. I'm not even sure what's inside the game like i don't really know much about it uh but i mean let's see obviously <laughs> it's more chill chill uh, game so you know because uh, yeah because i heard that it offers multiplayer or something which could be cool also I will be missing a lot of names of the animals because <laughs> I don't know much. <laughs> but uh, fuck. And they are even weird, like cross breeds. I hope they have names though. <laughs> that works. Language. Oh Jesus, no. <laughs> Yeah, obviously Japanese. No Chinese. No, that was Japanese. Francais? No. No. Okay. Let's go with English. I don't see any options, but whatever. in an art gallery or something this is a story okay so there was a phoenix that went to the volcano they took the egg and the volcano was mad <laughs> okay <laughs> so they had to leave no wait what the egg broke, they left, and I guess that's the story. <laughs> so they are refugees from the island or something. Maybe we need to bring them back. I'm assuming the phoenix is the campaign uh, thing that we need to, I guess, like, I don't know, repair the egg or something. Finally awakening. Give me subtitles or anything. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Dave the Psycho. Yeah. Settings. Spray mode. Turning mode. Uh, no. Smooth. Head relative moment. Um. Yeah. 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 
item labels, turn sensitivity, microphone, voice chat, controller. I guess there will be a tutorial. Should I do avatar? Let's do. Ah, uh, uh, I guess this is the area we're running into. Let's do really fast the avatar, and but I will just skip it uh, in the video. So be right back. Okay, I did something. I mean, <laughs> there are not many options, but at the same time, okay. Well, I guess that kind of resembles me. <laughs> so let's continue. Uh, okay. There are really no subtitles. No. Okay, that's that's not a problem, I guess. Why am I awakening? Look around. Your temple is still intact after all this time. I don't know why I am small though. Much has changed since you went to sleep. I'm assuming it is Try pushing a correct the thing because the rainstorms are the one thing that are as constant as ever. I mean, I set up the guardian like that, so I set up the guardian correctly. So I'm assuming this is the correct oh, position. Bird. Can you get him a fish? Let's give the fish to the goal. A salmon. Here. <laughs> he liked it. Okay, one second, I will set up the Galleon because it's a little bit weird. No? Okay, well. Well, then I guess we will just do the stationary. A bit weird, but okay. Wait, am I higher? <laughs> when holding an object, press B or Y to place it instantly oh, okay. into your Thank you. That's actually really helpful. Okay. Um, 
I wanna running as a toggle because it's annoying. Okay. Let's take everything. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Sure. Shala. Oh. Wait. Did I not pick it up? Or is it just appearing like that? Taking my shows and seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm assuming uh, wood for sure, but you know. I hope it doesn't respawn because then I would just gather everything. <laughs> A pig on the tree. Oh, 
driven away by the vengeful volcano. The nymphs left here and never returned. Yeah. Until hey, Tita, she's trapped yeah. under that rock. Yeah. We need to use the pickaxe on this rock to free her. Where can you get a pickaxe? Oh shit. <laughs> Where is it? Girl, I don't know. It's an important item. It will be returned to this mailbox after the next storm. Check this box after a storm to find lost items. Mm. So I'm assuming I can't be outside in the storm. Give me that thing. Okay, um, fuck, I don't know. Jesus. Orange? <laughs> yeah, okay, game. Fuck. Big X. <laughs> she wants her help building the town hall. I think she's an explorer. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, uh, I think she oh. wants you to help him with his building project. Okay. That's quick cards, so that's fine. Oh, Jesus. Fifteen? So this one just unlocks other areas, I assume. Yeah, okay. I'm not who. <laughs> That's a little bit too small for me now. Oh. Okay. A stool, cage, I guess that's some better mining thingy. Forge pickaxe. I mean, do I need it? Stonework fence, no. Emerald, hmm. Can't do it for now. <laughs> uh, well, that was whatever, I guess. How dare you! <laughs> Okay, um... I see you. You didn't want it, so... How dare you? Mm. It's always so peaceful in this number of things. Though feet of raccoons still work here, the trees have come so much more than us. Hey, 
Basically, uh, the thing is that um, there are like audio issues, right, in the clips, um, but it's only persistent if there is a like a narrator or like voices. Uh, the gameplay itself doesn't have any like you know issues, um, you know, when you are playing, kinda. Um, I don't know like why it's happening like that. It's now I'm pretty sure it's definitely the firmware of the Oculus, which is a little bit fucking stupid. Like it was, I think it is the new firmware that uh, like does that. I mean, I will continue play the game anyways, like whatever. Um, but it's a little bit fuck. It's it it it's gonna be annoying to edit, and it's already a long uh, game, so. You know, you see, there are some scratches, kinda, that background, no. It's a little bit strange because in the Republic it was more persistent, like it was way louder. Uh, like, Raccoon doesn't have it, it is still annoying, but not that much. So, I assume I would just like, you know, the sound would be a little bit lower on the videos. I don't know. I will see how it goes. I will play the game uh, whole anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it's good to know that it happens now. So it's good to know. To know. <laughs> okay. Um, we are back. It's the day after I uh, played the first part. So I decided to not uh, do the whole playthrough of it because it's not really a playthrough to be honest. Uh, the game is purely f like to um, gather, you know, ingredients to, uh, you know, build uh, buildings and stuff like that and uh, expand to the other biomes. I uh, discovered every biome that there is. It's like you have highlands, you have mines, volcano, um, forest. Um, basically, if I'm on the day 11. <laughs> you come with me. I'm on the day, on the 11th of day. Um, on uh, exploration. And I uh, basically did most of the things. I can even like you know, uh, you have the farm. I can uh, plant seeds. You are going the thing. <laughs> um, it's basically a sandbox with uh, gathering stuff, you know. Uh, the thing is that the main campaign uh, is all about um, collecting the fragments of the of the phoenix egg the each fragment basically uh, is in every biome and once you will like uh, explore and like gather the ingredients you will eventually find these fragments and i'm gonna show you because uh, I was thinking if it's a good idea to show uh, where is every fragment, but at the same time you will find it eventually. Um, 
because it's not that hard to find. Basically, you have in each biome you have on the beach. Um, this one, I think it was here somewhere. Forest, uh, mushroom cave, volcano, highlands, farm, mines. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so basically from each biome we have a fragment. I did not uh, do the ending, what, I don't know what will happen. There is, I think, one, uh, four, five, eight. So there is nine fragments. Eight fragments are in the biomes. The last fragment is hidden in the volcano biome, which I did not discover yet. And I, I was thinking it was a little bit hard to do. Okay, I have that. Uh, Okay. And I have and I have hearts. Hearts hearts basically are the currency here. You upgrade your uh, tools, you unlock the other things. Okay, let's go to the volcano and and that bitch. Come here. They steal shit from you. How dare you? Okay. So I don't know what will happen, and I think, I, I think I know the solution. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but this this one is probably uh, like the last uh, the last stage here. I hope I know the solution though. So I'm assuming something's there and the last uh, tool you gather from the volcano is the boomerang that you can, you know, pick up the plants or like things that are like far away. So I think you need to water the lava. Yeah, I was right. Okay. fragment could be can I do that? <laughs> hmm. There is this shitter. There? I think it's there. This was the other, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That's the last fragment. Okay, so I have everything. Oh shit. We can now go back and do the last fragment. I wonder what will happen. I hope the audio issues are not that persistent because the, there is no narrator for now and I'm assuming that's what was causing but you know it's kind of like that's my, the main reason why I did not want to do the whole playthrough because first of all there was audio issues and, and second it was not that interesting to be honest like to gather stuff I guess <laughs> because this game is like a little bit specific. It's, it is time consuming, but there is not much happening though. Um, I played also in multiplayer and I I know that playing multiplayer is way more fun, <laughs> uh, this game. Um, yeah, especially like with your friend or whatever, because then you don't feel like alone in this kind of big home. Uh, okay, so let's see what will happen. The last fragment. Okay. 
So we prepared the egg. There's a slider, how much credit left. Okay. I'll tell you the uh, overall, the my impressions. I mean I already did kinda. Um yeah, I mean for the for its price and uh, what it's offering, the game is fine, like uh, it is really I could see why it is in a style of uh, Animal Crossing, but not really kinda because uh if you don't play it then like nothing happens. I assume I never played this kind of like farm games, but I assume when you don't play, something happens soon to the game because you need to wait or something. Um, here it's just that uh, when you play, stuff are is happening like the building, the farming, like every uh, everything. Um, but it's fine to be honest. Like uh, and I played with others uh, and um, it's basically that uh, you help, you can help the others. On others can help you into like because they have more advanced tools and so they can help you gather more advanced stuff that you still can't and you know whatever uh, but I mean it is a pretty cool really chill and casual game um, for people who are not like hardcore VR players or whatever uh, and like are more into the casual stuff. This is a really cool ga game. Also, like I assume after the game, there is there is really so much to do. You can uh, build uh, your own villages. You can like build your own areas, like uh, from what you gather, and then you craft that uh, into the sh in the shops you buy. Like still, when you finish the campaign, I'm, I I. I wonder what will have, like, be different. I, I don't think it, I think it would be different. <clears throat> but even after the campaign, you have still a lot of things to do. So, you know, for its price, it offers a lot if you are more interested to invest your time in this game. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's there's not really much to say. I'm not really sure how much I edited or even at all. <laughs> I hope I did. Um, but you know, it's all about like kind of imagination and like your what, what you kind of wanna do because you can interact with everything and and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see what's after the credits. And, uh, yeah. Okay, 
so we're glad, man. Can we do something with you? 50 hearts for what? <laughs> Wonder what, but I don't think there will be something extra when you uh, be careful. No. <laughs> I don't think there is there will be something extra after you will give him the 15 heart. I don't have it now, and uh, it will be a little bit hard to gather it now because you need to do more advanced stuff. Um, okay, whatever. Um, I'll look up on the internet what happens after that, but I don't think anything, so just give me a minute. <laughs> okay, so uh, I did not find anything at all. Like, because it is still a niche game, I'm assuming not much information there is. There is a wiki, but it's not really like. Um, packed with information. Uh, well, you know. Explorers Park, Wood Carpenter. No, there's nothing about the Phoenix. Um, I mean, me, uh, if something will happen, I'll update it, I guess, in the description of this video. If not, there will be no information, so let's just keep it at that <laughs> or something. Or maybe I'll record it, I don't know, we'll see, but I don't think there will be something happening. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what will, what the game will be next. Um, I have no idea though, so it will be interesting. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. <laughs>